my dear friends praise the lord and it gives me an immense joy to share with you uh, my little reflection on this great man called saint paul is a great apostle whom we all love especially the society of the holy spirit we have made him as our patron and spiritual patron who continues to guide all of us in the life of saint paul one thing with that i love so much is he is a man of dedication commitment and faithfulness which makes him someone unique from all the other apostles and all the other persons it's true he is he was not an apostle but as a pharisee after learning the law of god he was so faithful and god saw his heart of faithfulness and god used to him so we know his journey begins specially on apost acts of the apostle chapter 9 so when he was going to damascus and to jerusalem to destroy the catholics or the christian early christian community and the lord struck him and the hearts left him he fell on the mud his eyes were closed it is there he realized all his learning all his influence all the power that he received from the superiors the letters he has got he can do whatever he wish to everything became mud he himself became helpless the companions who came along with him has to lift him up literally the hearts left him it is there he realized being blind heard the voice of god saul saul why do you persecute me he began to question who are you lord because he knew the lord of yahweh the same lord who spoke to moses abraham prophets he thought the same lord but here the lord's voice is saying that he is doing the work of the law but the lord is saying why do you persecute me who are you when he said i am jesus he was so much disturbed and he was so much wondered how this jesus is identifying himself with the suffering christians yes i persecute the christians the christians are going through suffering and this lord is saying why are you persecuting me he be, he did not eat for three days and nights began to cry to jesus in the interior heart of him lord i want to know you please forgive me i have heard to you that's what you have said you have heard to me and i am wounded i am disturbed and i need your light again i need to live again i want to be yours you have been gracious to reveal to me yourself in spite of all my filthiness all my sinfulness and all my work of persecuting your christians and you and the lord was so gracious by sending a servant of god who came and prayed for him a man called ananias and even ananias is asking lord i have heard about this man he is a horrible man but something the lord spoke to ananias about paul in acts chapter 9 verse 15 we read the lord said go for saul is my 
chosen instrument to make to take my message to the gentiles and to the kings as well as to the people of israel and i will show him how much he must suffer for my name sake he is a vessel chosen by me and he is a vessel who will, will who will be willing to suffer for me this is the uniqueness of paul we know in john chapter 21 jesus tells peter do you love me take care of my sheep take care of my lamb then follow me jesus said the next moment peter says what about that fellow john he forgot about his own call comparing himself with others peter was not a man who was willing to suffer to that matter many of the apostles ran away yes but not paul paul was an apostle because of his not only commitment and faithfulness but his heart to suffer willing to do anything i will never return back and why what is the difference between paul and peter it's worth to reflect peter was always had a great love for god but he was moving with outside world he was led by outside world when he went to see jesus he saw the women were sitting near the fire he saw the fire outside he went and he even denied the lord and he ran away from the lord he never returned even when jesus was hanging on the cross or even for burial even after the resurrection when he was told he did not come to see a kind of man we can't understand but jesus is so kind he has to pull him where he had gone to the sea and bringing back but paul is not like that paul was not a person who saw the lord outside but he is a person who saw the lord inside that's why he wrote first corinthians 3:16 don't you know that you are the temple of the holy spirit and christianity for paul he is to move with the lord to be aware of the lord inside have a fellowship with the lord that's why he writes in second corinthian chapter 13 verse 14 may the love of the father the salvation of jesus and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with you so he is a person who saw the lord staying with him and for him a spiritual life means or miracle means to move with the lord inside and transform oneself that's why he said in galatian chapter 2 verse 20 jesus died on the cross he is a message of salvation but i to crucify myself with jesus that is the good news for me Jesus has influenced me he has become good news for me that i to crucify myself with him and bring his salvation to the world so paul is a person who was always had miracles from within he is not a person who was looking for some miracle to come from outside or to some help to come from no he is a person who saw the lord in his heart and he learned to relate with him and he learned to bring every issues to the lord who is inside him that's why he said in the book of colossian he said i share with you a great secret and what is that christ is in you christ is in you this is the great secret 
he was alert to that secret we read in acts chapter 16 when he was put into the jail he never looked out and he even never looked at his body the wounds he received and he began to complain to god no he saw the lord inside and he began to speak to god lord why do you allow this so he saw the lord inside and he began to relate with the god who is inside and he was conscious of the mission god has given to him the lord always spoke to paul paul you are now here you are in jerusalem you have to go to rome and witness to me paul do not be afraid there are so many people in this town be courageous so he always heard the voice of god he never went around here and there searching for god he saw the lord inside and he had fellowship with the lord inside and with whatever may be outside programs or situations he brought them all to the lord inside and with his inner strength he understood the mission of god and he followed the lord from within that's why he says in roman chapter 12 verse 2 he says may the lord renew your life that's why he says in the book of ephesians grow from within move from within live from within yes so the great theology of paul was our following the lord was different from others he learned the secret and that secret is the king of kings the lord of lord is within me my heart is the temple of the lord temple of the holy spirit the enemy is after me behind me but but i have to do the battle from within he was aware of the lord he heard the mission of the lord from within and with that mission he did everything for the lord he became a mighty witness for god from moving from within by the mission that he heard from within and he followed the lord from within my dear friends that's what we find in his three journeys the lord led him into three different directions his spirituality we find in the first journey first journey begins like this though he had a beautiful experience of the lord and then he went for three years nobody did peter did not do james did not do you john did not do or anybody here any apostles who knew jesus did paul did three years he was in the desert like the master alone learning the truth that we are saved by the grace not by anything else our faith in the lord will save us and we are saved not by our work or by our uh, efforts it is by the grace of god he knew it he learned it in the desert he was living among the fiery snakes in the desert he was living in the hot sand the hot atmosphere but amidst all that nothing could take him away when he was under the protection of the lord he had the guts to throw himself into the hands of god and prove to the world my god is living that's why he said in second corinthian 12:9 he said the lord told me my grace is sufficient for you in your weakness my strength will sustain you so he learned that it is not that when we have problems when we have weakness we have to throw it away from as no 
problems will be there struggles will be there but the theology of saint paul is it is not throwing away your weakness or pushing away your weakness you come out of your weakness but by filling with the spirit by moving into the spirit by moving into the strength of the lord you begin to live don't run behind the weakness move into your strength darkness is the absence of light so don't push away the weakness you can't push them away don't push away your struggles you cannot but enter into his strength move with his strength move with his power move with his presence this is the theology of saint paul he was always moved by the lord and he moved everything that's why he said in acts 17:28 we live by him we move through him and we have our being by him yes so this is second aspect he not only lived from within but also he faced every problem of his life every weakness of his life by filling himself with the light he overcame the darkness by filling himself with the strength of the lord he overcame the weakness that's why he said in first corinthian chapter 13 verse 10 he said when the perfection of god comes upon you your imperfection moves away when the light of christ comes upon you your darkness goes away so wherever you go problems will come but don't allow the problems to overcome you put on the strength of the lord the problem will be kept where they are supposed to be don't get upset because these things are happening to you but rejoice that you have a living god who can separate me from the love of christ that was paul so the theology of paul is seeing the lord inside and hearing the mission of the lord voice of the lord and follow the lord there is on the one hand on the other hand when the problems and struggle comes from outside you cannot push them out of you but and you need not to do it rather you look up and be filled with his power that's why he says in the book of hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 onwards throw off that which is trying to cling on to you your sin and your weakness by keeping the lord ever before you and walking towards the lord and all that which is trying to follow you will run away you keep the lord and you move with the lord and all that is trying to catch you will be kept in their own places hallelujah and the third thing i like to share with about the life of saint paul is he walked on three principles which we find in his three missionary journeys he had that is devotion dedication and detachment in the first journey we find he was in tarsus because an anap the apostles wanted to take him but barnabas goes and brings him and barnabas already built up a community called a beautiful community is already formed and the first christian community and saint paul was brought by barnabas and when they were together growing in the lord the christian community grows day by day day by day we read it from chapter 13 onwards and in antioch they grew the first christian community was built up and then as they were together this barnabas takes paul to the apostles to jerusalem 
introduce them. Barnabas was a guide for Paul and encouraged Paul so much. And now the saints of Antioch, they pray over Paul and Barnabas. They fast and pray and they send them according to the direction of the Holy Spirit. It is written in chapter, chapter 13, verse 2, one day, as these men were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Dedicate Barnabas and Saul for the special work to which I have called them. So after more fasting and prayer, the men laid their hands on them and sent them on the way. This is the way Paul's first missionary journey begins. By ordinary saints praying for Paul, anointing Paul and Barnabas sending them. So in this first journey, we find uh, Paul remains as a man of devotion. Yes. They even, he even cuts his hair. He makes his companions to go for all kinds of religious practices, including circumcision. And he remains as a man of devotion. He goes wherever he goes. He preaches about Jesus as the Lord and leads people to God. And then they return back to Antioch and they were led by the Lord. Now they are moving into second journey. In the second journey, we find Paul's life is different. When Mark went to Jerusalem, he did not come back. Paul was so upset because he is a man of de dedication. He is a man of discipline. Only with the discipline and dedication you can achieve something in the world. It is not the desire. Many have the desire. But very few have the dedication and detachment. So they achieve great things. Paul was one of that. And we find Paul is now telling Mark he went away and we should not take him again. He is not disciplined man. He, he does whatever he thinks. No. In the ministry of preaching, ministry of the Lord, that should be disciplined. You can't do whatever you wish to. Barnabas says, no son, we have to adjust, we have to accommodate. So Paul left even Barnabas. And in the second journey, he takes Apollo with him. He goes through a lot of struggle. And we know what happened in Iconium and Lystra. They were stoned. Paul was stoned, not Barnabas. Barnabas was there. But but now in the second journey, we find um, when they went to Corinth and other places, there was a lady, Lydia, who was feeding him. So now after preaching the word of God, he is returning back. What I am saying is in the second journey, that is on 16th chapter, when Paul goes with Silas, they were going, suddenly an evil possessed girl speaks about Paul. He is the man from God. When Paul said, keep quiet, the evil spirit ran, ran away. And the people who are making money out of that evil spirit realize the evil spirit is gone. They can't make any more money. They caught him and put him into the jail. We find him as a man of dedication. He calls upon the Lord who is inside. He never saw outside whether there is so much of persecution, so much of distress. He saw the Lord inside and he began to cry. He began to praise God. The praise came from within, not from outside pain, from inside faith. Inside realizing the grace of God. Yes. Even in Iconium, when they stoned him, 
everybody thought he is dead they dragged him and put him outside and went away but he remembered the grace of god and when the disciple came he got up now when he is put into the jail in 16th chapter paul recognized the lord inside and he never, he never allowed the external thing that happened to him people persecuted him they hit him with the rods if you would have given his mind to outside world he could have complained oh lord what is this i have dedicated my life for you and at the end what am i getting no he is a man moved from within a man of dedication dedication means you dedicate your life to god the moment you have dedicated to him you completely belong to god and you have no right to ask what happens to you that is the way he committed his life to him and the lord did miracles we know and the jail the doors were opened the chains were fallen st paul's second journey ends with the glorious hurts and wounds full of his body found in full of his body and the third journey is still horrible where he just completely detaches himself as he says in galatian 2:20 along with christ i crucify myself no more i belong to myself no more i live christ lives in me if anything happens to me is up to christ i have nothing of my own yes he has to travel many many miles we read in 27th to 28th chapters how in malta before reaching malta so many days in the sea nothing he could do miracles with his kerchief so many people are healed the evil spirits are gone and gone away but now when he follows the lord no miracles no wonders but still he has to follow the lord he prayed nothing has happened to him no miracles no wonders did god leave him that was the experience of jesus too a spirit of detachment jesus cried father why have you forsaken me by carrying all of us sins he cried now paul had the same experience of detachment let anything happen i have given my life to god now up to god whatever he wants to do with me let him do and st paul became a man of detachment and god honored him and made him a great apostle he became a loving man a violent man became a loving person a person who moved from within later the so called mark when he was around him he sent a word come come to be with me he became such a loving person so let's pray that the life of st paul is a great lesson for all of us what the servant of god should be i just like to give you only these three uh, meanings that you may live out number 1 he he is a person who moved from within who saw the lord inside his heart and he had fellowship with the holy spirit who is in him and then with that fellowship he had with the holy spirit he began to hear the voice of god he began to understand the mission of god and he followed the lord so he is a man who saw the lord inside who lived who knew very well the kingdom of god is within me 
the kingdom is of god is not somewhere else it is within me this is the first thing we learn from paul and the second thing we understand from paul is when problems and struggle that come from outside and you cannot push them off you can't push off your weakness you can't push off your struggle but rather you put on christ you move with christ you be empowered with christ and with his light overcome the darkness as he said in romans 12 21 let not evil overcome you but overcome the evil with the good yes when the perfection of god comes upon you your imperfection moves away my grace is sufficient for you in your weakness my strength will take care of you and the third thing from his three journeys we understand he was a man of devotion he loved god he sang praises to god he prayed to god day and night he invested time with the lord the more he became devoted he realized when people are making problem he was trying to do whatever the best why should i fight with the jews for the sake of cutting the hair or the my companions why can't they go for circumcision small small issues should not affect us we should move beyond the issues because we have a higher goal so he kept the higher goal christ and he lived a life of devotion like any other jew but then he moved from devotion to dedication he dedicated his life he dedicated everything to god and third he moved from dedication to detachment he became nothing and christ became everything for him as we reflect on this great man shall we then lift up our hands and pray to him lord jesus we thank you for the great personality of saint paul a man whom you chose as a saul and saul became paul you told saul saul you are trying to break with the thorns if you hit at the thorns only your legs will go away come out of the thorns and i will lead you to glory lord he came out of his heart of violence his heart of sin and he came into you he moved into you he became a person of love person of dedication thank you lord thank you lord you love to paul and you re- reveal to him all the secrets that the kingdom of god is not outside it is inside us the lord is living in us that my heart is the temple of the holy spirit and he loved you lord and he lived with you the more he was conscious of you the more he heard your voice thank you lord and the more he heard your voice he followed you jesus we thank you for the theology of paul when the problems and the struggle comes you cannot push them off but you need to fill them with the spirit third thank you lord for revealing to us through paul that we need to walk in these three stages of devotion dedication and to detachment may all those who are listening be guided by your spirit which you gave it to paul lord hallelujah 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 because he lives this is the theology of paul it's no longer i he lives in me because he lives in me i can face anything neither death nor angels nor any power that can separate me from the love of christ because he lives 
I can face tomorrow because he lives all my fear is gone because I know he holds my future and life is worth living just because he lives thank you lord bless all your children who are listening may they to experience you who is living in them that they will have the grace to have fellowship with you invest their time with you and may they have the grace to understand your plan lord and live by you in jesus mighty name i pray amen praise the lord god bless you